Hi everyone and welcome back to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and this right here is Martina. Today we talk about the beautiful English ivy. Okay, coming up! Whether you are coming back or this is your first time in this channel, thank you so much for being with me and watching this video. This channel is all about houseplants and bringing nature to our home. So, if you want to learn how to take care of your houseplants, how to display them, or even how to connect with them, make sure to subscribe so you can join the community and we can see each other every week and talk about plants. But now, let's get to the video. The English ivy is a beautiful plant, you guys, and it's a very strong houseplant. These plants actually prefer cooler temperatures, so if you want a plant for a cooler room in your house, this is a plant for you. The English ivy is actually a vine, so it is perfect to display it as a hanging plant. And the colors, you guys, are amazing. The leaves are like watercolors, you guys. So you actually have some tones of darker green, and then you have white and lighter green tones. It is a beautiful plant. So now let's see how you can keep her happy at your house. In terms of humidity, this plant really likes humidity. So what I do is I put her with other tropical plants that also like humidity and in the winter I actually put a humidifier around this area. This helps me keep the humidity levels up around this area and also to keep this plant really happy. In terms of temperature, as I said, these plants actually love cooler temperatures. So try to keep her in a room that is between 2 to 16 degrees Celsius. Provide bright, indirect sunlight. This is a variegated type, so actually it needs more sunlight than the non-variegated types. If you provide too little sunlight, you will lose the variegation on the leaves. On the other hand, non-variegated types will tolerate lower light levels. In terms of water, this plant actually needs moderate watering. I try to check the soil every week with my finger, so I put my finger inside the soil until the second knuckle, and once I feel that the soil is drying out, then I water. Remember, in the winter, the soil actually dries out slower, so make sure to check. And of course, for all of my plants, I use the bottom watering method. So I also use it for this plant. I really like this method because it helps me get the water into the roots from below and I also water from the top. After I leave the plant in the water for about 10 to 15 minutes, I lift it up and I let the water drain down. That way I make sure that the soil is moist but not wet. We don't want to overwater our plant. Some common problems with the English ivy include brown leaf tips or edges. This may be because the air around your plant is too warm for the plant or because the air is really dry. So again, make sure that the temperatures around your plant are on the cooler side and that you provide humidity around her. Another common problem with the variegated type is that you start losing variegation. This usually happens when you don't provide enough sunlight for your plant. So move her to a brighter spot, but remember, provide her with indirect sunlight and not direct sunlight as this can burn the leaves. For an extra tip, this plant is perfect for sharing with your friends. This is because propagation is very easy with this plant. All you have to do is cut the vines where you see that aerial roots are coming out. I love to propagate this plant in water because then you can see how the roots are growing underwater. But I will make a video about this for you so you have all the information you need. Okay my friends, these are some tips that I can share with you about the English ivy. Do you have any other tips that you do with your plant? Please make sure to comment below so we can all learn together. Of course, if you would like to be part of this community, you're always welcome. So make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and keep talking about plants. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye!